Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I am going to tell you the three things that you need to do to get ready to be successful on the GED math test in 2017. So 2016 is behind us. You know, if you procrastinated or if you failed the test once, twice, or maybe even three times, 2017 is a new lease on life. And so the first thing you got to do is you got to get those basic skills. And so the basic skills are things like fractions. There are things like percents. There are things like ratios and proportions. You know, there's things like basic shape measurements, like rectangles and triangles and things like that. You got to get a grip on those things. Then the second thing you got to do is you got to get that algebra down. The GED test is now 55% uh, uh, algebra, so you got to be able to do that x squared minus 3x plus uh, 122 equals 0. The quadratic equations, uh, the, the y equals mx plus b linear equation type stuff, uh, just solving for x, 3x plus 15 equals 55. You know, all of those kinds of things you have to be in tune on in order to have GED success. And then the third thing is you have to be able to do interpretation. Interpretation, I'm just going to um, abbreviate that, but interpretation is key. Uh, you have to be able to take the, the picture, um, you know, so for example, you know, you might get a graph here, you get some information here, and then you got some text here, ABC, and you have to be able to take those two things and interpret them down to your answer. OK, so in order to be successful in 2017, these are the three things you got to be able to do. So you got to get down to the answer. So number one, uh, the basic math, you got to have your fractions, your percents, your basic shape measurements and your ratio and proportions. Number two, you got to have that algebra stuff down. You got to quadrat. You got to be able to do linear. You got to be able to solve for X. And then, you know, we can get into polynomials and some other things in another video. And then third and most important, you got to be able to interpret what you're reading. You got to be able to take some graph and some text and put it into your answer and understand what's going on there. So to that point, to help you out, uh, I've developed a new ebook. It's called How to Pass a GED Math Test in 2017. This ebook is free. Here is this link. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, there will be a link in the uh, video description that you can just click on and go directly to it. Um, but for those of you watching it in another format, um, here is this link. So as I'm talking, you know, go ahead and pause the video and uh, write this link down and then, you know, put it in your address window and go get it. But this book will get you set up on the right path about how to pass the GED math test in 2017 because it talks about the four types of algebra problems. And I'm focusing on algebra because this is where it gets tough. Algebra is just simply tough because if you didn't finish high school, <clears throat> You probably didn't get an opportunity to get in on algebra well. So you, so you have all of these kinds of equations. You know, you have, you know, uh, y equals mx plus b. And then they want to ask you to graph an equation of a line. You got your x-axis here and your y-axis there. You know, your 1, 1, 2, and, and over there, and up here, and up here. You got to know how to do that kind of stuff, okay? Because if you don't know how to do it, um, these things uh, will erase that little squiggly mark there. Um, these these things will, will give you fits. And so this ebook is designed to help you to at least know what they are. And then, you know, you're still going to need some more work beyond that. But at least this what this video is going to do. Uh, what this uh, ebook is going to do is going to at least put you in a position where you know so you're not working from the point of view of darkness. So again, this has been GED teacher Damon Tennant. Uh, I hope that this video has been helpful for you. I hope it has provided some guidelines for you, but you got to dig in in 2017. Do not let another year pass you by and really study, really get ready. Don't just like take it and take it and take it. A lot of people think, well, I'll just keep on taking it and eventually I'll pass it. I'm so close. I'm telling you that is the furthest thing from the truth. You have got to get prepared for this test. The way this test is written is you have to get certain types of questions or you will not pass no matter how many times you take it. So get prepared. Take your time and get prepared. You got this whole year ahead of you. Make it count.